So we're gonna use the sew spine on the wall. You can do this on the ground. Sometimes it might be a little bit too intense. Make sure the feet are clean, they're clear, it shouldn't have any issues. But then the next thing what we're gonna do is we're not gonna put our spine right down the middle of the sew spine. We're gonna put our spine either to the left or to the right of it. And we're gonna work that whole edge. So normally I'd be like this, I'd be here and I could work this whole area. My spine's right in the center of it, but I'm gonna shift it to the side and go up and down, all right? Now what's really nice too is that when I shift it, I can be able to get this peak. So there's my spine and I have the peaks on my spine right here. I'm gonna shift it just a little bit and then I'm bringing it all the way down and now I'm getting in between. So this is my spine and this is my pelvis. I'm getting in between this little tight area right in here. Okay, and so when we put that, and then the wall's nice because then I can gauge the pressure I can bring out, bring my feet out, and then I can be able to press into it due to these little shimmies. And it's a different sensation. Now I'm coming into the muscles from the outside in instead of from the inside out. And I can really clear up some gunk that, whoa, See, you gotta be careful. So, be mindful where your feet are at. A nice wide base. And just pressing into it. Shifting up. Keeping this on the right side of my spine. Doing these little shakes. And then I find a spot. I can move my arm around. I can arch up come down clean up those areas I'm gonna do that on the left and right nice test to do afterwards is I'm gonna do some round forward squeezing my abs rounding forward and then I can round even four even more come up all pain-free if this is all you can do no problem stay right here movement is key in a pain-free range of motion so there might be a little bit of discomfort and then back off Come down, back off. Learn what's going on with your body. Right there, might feel a little something, then I come back up. And then I wanna open up, all right? I wanna open up. I'm getting now this arch in my back, squeeze my butt so I'm not putting any more um, excess pressure on that lower part. I squeeze my butt, now I can open up. Now I'm squeezing those muscles contracting them okay there shifting side to side here I come forward I shift rotating around come back forward I'm testing different angles of my spine if it feels good go about your day if it feels like there's still a little bit more tension in there somewhere Try it on the wall, try it on the ground, look at some of those other videos for on you know, the chair. You can even use this in your bed. The pressure is different when you're in the bed because then the bed takes some of that pressure, which is really nice. But then you can repeat. I would only say for maybe two or maybe three more sets of going back and forth of massage and then moving your back around, seeing how you feel, go back to massage, explore a little bit more. Usually it's about two times you're like, all right, I'm good, and then you go. Okay, don't overdo it. Don't aggravate it too much because now you have the tool. Now you can use it all the time during the day for a couple sessions here and then give yourself a break, come back to it. And you can use it again at nighttime before you go to sleep. What I'm talking about is doing too much too soon in a, in a smaller range of motion, in, a, in a, a like five or 10 or 15 minute span. You can spread it out over the day do this in the morning, do this in the afternoon, do this in the evening. That's totally fine. Same thing, focus on nice pressure and movement, testing it out. If you feel good, don't need the massage. Move on, go do something else. Okay, let me know if you have any questions at discussion right there. Ask me any questions in there.